On again, this travel ban is the thing that's still causing a great deal of confusion. Now, it concerns uh, seven countries, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, Iraq, and Yemen. So if you're from those countries trying to get into this country, you are going to get a look over and then some. Uh, but it's all the confusion around that that prompted all of these long lines over the weekend at LAX, at New York's JFK International. Uh, Jeff Locke seeing a lot of it over at Chicago's O'Hare Airport. How is it there today, Jeff? There remains confusion, Neil, although we're not seeing the protests like we did before. But I want to show you the scene and international arrivals. These are attorneys who have volunteered their time to come out and assist anyone who has been detained or anyone that the government is attempting to deport. Now, presumably, the uh, order by the judge in New York, as well as other federal judges, uh, has precluded any deportations, but it has not precluded anyone from being detained. I want to show you just how big an effort this is, by the way. This is a, a whole area that's been set up for these attorneys, uh, and they number uh, a couple dozen here uh, to help anyone who has got a problem. Over the weekend, as you know, not only here at O'Hare, but elsewhere around the country, mass uh, demonstrations, uh, kind of tangled travel in some ways, although uh, most of the people we are told over the weekend who had been detained after those judge, uh, judges ruled, those federal judges ruled, said uh, that those people were released. So presumably nobody in detention at the moment. In terms of protests today, the uh, folks at O'Hare have set up an area for protesters, but I leave you with a picture of, uh, so far, two. Uh, two young ladies, uh, if you look over there, Steve, perhaps you see them. Stop the ban, they say. Uh, and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave you with this, Neil. I talked to one uh, American business traveler today who said, if you don't think the stock market sell off today as a result of this, you're crazy. Uh, and he's a Trump supporter who says, I fear that this sort of action that does not have widespread support, in fact, perhaps widespread opposition, will interfere with the, the president's more important agenda, which is taxes, regulation, and that sort of thing that's helpful to the business community. Neil. Yeah, it kind of distracts them for the time being. All right, thank you, buddy. Uh, Jeff Locke in Chicago.